Hey y'all, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Liliana Joy and on this channel we like to focus on body care, especially Bath and Body Works, but also lifestyle here and there. So today's gonna be such an exciting video. So by the title title and thumbnail of today's video, we're gonna be doing a Bath and Body Works moisturizer sale haul. So if that sounds interesting, hope you guys keep on watching. Okay, you guys, so as I said, today's video is going to be focusing on my haul from the moisturizer sale from this past weekend. So this weekend, there was a big moisturizer sale going on for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and it was $4.95. You could stack coupons on it, and it was just a really, really good deal. And I've been needing... I don't, I don't need them, but I've been wanting some matching lotions to some of the fragrance mists that I have that I just haven't had the chance to grab the lotions or the moisturizers yet. So I was like, this is the perfect time. So I grabbed a lot of stuff. I grabbed a lot of matching lotions. I grabbed some new stuff as well. And I also grabbed some gifts. So I'm really excited to show you guys. Um, I actually just reorganized my collection yesterday because yesterday was March 1st. And I was like, I'm going to go ahead and just move all the spring forward and just organize it so it looks more springy. So I did that and I really love how it turned out. Um, I also made some more room on the bottom shelf because I need some more to put all of these, all of these moisturizers, lotions, and body creams because I don't have any more room to put all of this stuff. So that's why I went ahead and organized yesterday. Um, I'm, I don't, I didn't think I was going to do a video on it. So I decided not to do a video because I thought, you know, I thought it was just too complicated because I had no idea what I was doing and I was like I just it would be too much to do a video so I just didn't film it but um I will be showing you guys maybe a video of it later in a few weeks or something um but I just bought so much stuff you guys I saved like 142 dollars because I bought 10 or 11 things and I bought three gifts and then the rest are for me so let's just go ahead and get started with the gifts so the first one that I bought is actually one that I don't have anymore I gave to my mom um it was a sweetheart cherry body cream it was this one. This is this is mine, but I bought her one. Uh, this is a note of wild cherry, crushed pistachio, and worked vanilla. So good. Such a good fragrance. And I wanted to get a backup. That was actually the backup that I was going to get. But then I was thinking, I would, but then I was like, I don't really need it. So I just gave it to her. Um, and also I had a 20% off coupon. So I did stack that. So it would only, everything only came out to like $3.96 per uh, product. So it was great. It was a great deal. Um, that coupon was actually expiring on the 4th, so that's why I was like, girl, I have to use it now. But then I also had a free reward for $9.95, and then I also had another 25% off, which I didn't use, um, but I did use that 20 Anyways, so back to the first stuff that I got. So yeah, I got my mom that one, and then I got two stuff, two body creams for my grandfather for his birthday. So his birthday is on the 15th, so I was like, you know what, I'm going to just grab him some body creams for his birthday. So the first one is the new one. This one is Ridgeline. This one is the new one, I think. Um, I don't know. I don't really keep up with the men's collection because I don't use them. But um, I know that this one's a new one because I did see Kimberly and Santos, their like, review or no, their haul. And they hauled this. Uh, this has notes of mountain air, citrus, and smooth sandalwood. My grandfather really likes masculine, musky scents. And I was like, oh my god, this is literally perfect for him because, number one, this is like mountain. Like, it's like mountain and they like live in the mountains so I was like oh my god this is literally perfect uh I'm gonna go ahead and smell it I'm not gonna use it but I'm gonna go ahead and smell it yeah it's masculine it's musky it has a pop of citrus it's really nice um and I hope I hope that he'll really like it the retail price is $16.95 so that is the first one ridge line so I wasn't really sure what to get him other than that one. I knew that I wanted to grab him two body creams because he doesn't have any body care. And I was like, girl, he needs to have some. So um, I wasn't really sure what to get him. I was like, should I get Noir bourbon? I'm not sure. But I went ahead and I settled on graphite. So look how pretty this packaging. I love this packaging. This retails for $17.95. So again, a great time to grab these because they are so expensive. Uh, the notes are sage, bergamot spice, and leather woods. Ooh smells good it smells like it just like I feel like all the men's fragrances kind of blend together for me because they're just very masculine um but it does smell like leather but like it also smells like a lot like planty earthiness from the sage uh this is a really pretty fragrance I'm not sure if he'll like this one a lot compared to the other one because I know that he likes a lot more mountainy stuff um that one's a little sweeter than this one but I hope he will like it um, so that is the graphite body cream. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to the ones that I grabbed to match with the fragrance mist that I already had. So these ones are not new to my collection. I just wanted a matching moisturizer for the fragrance mist that I already had of them. So the first one is an Into the Night Body Lotion. I have had Into the Night for well over a year and I just never grabbed a body lotion to it. Um, as you could see, here is my Into the Night bottle. I don't use it because I just don't have a matching lotion. This bottle is about right down here. So I wanted to go ahead and grab a matching lotion finally because I was like, oh my god, this is the perfect opportunity to grab a matching lotion to it. So here is the lotion. I actually used to have a mini body cream in Into the Night, but I just did not like it. I felt like it was just too heavy for me because this fragrance is very, very potent. So I went ahead and grabbed the lotion this time instead. Um, so I love the packaging. It's literally so pretty. I love this. The notes are Raspberry Noir, Amber Crystals, a Velvety Rose Petals, a Creamy Patchouli, and Mocha Musk. It smells exactly like the fragrance mist. Sweet, musky, floral, very, very nighttime-esque. Um, and the patchouli is pretty heavy. Um, I like it though. I think the patchouli smells really, really good in this fragrance. And I'm just so excited to finally wear this because I just haven't had the chance to wear it yet. Um, so that is the first one, Into the Night. This retails for $14.95. So that is Into the Night. So I'm not gonna lie, you guys, I got so many body creams today. I only bought two lotions and I got I got tons of body creams because I've just been finding that I like using body creams more and I have a lot of lotions I really do but I also am starting to get a lot more body creams in my collection but the thing is I'm okay with that because I do use my products pretty often and I also do finish products often enough to be okay with getting more body creams and having a more substantial body cream collection so you're gonna see a lot of body creams in today's haul so the next the next fragrance that I got to to use as a matching moisturizer is the butterfly body cream this is a new packaging i love this it's so pretty uh the notes are raspberry nectar iris petals and airy vanilla so here is the one that i already have in the fragrance mist this is the old packaging but i feel like they do match pretty well so i don't really care that uh they're different packagings um i've been loving this fragrance as of lately so i definitely wanted to make sure that i grabbed a body cream to match the fragrance mist and let me just say that this is so much sweeter this is so much sweeter than the mist. Yeah, I definitely get more of the raspberry in the body cream and I love that. I think it smells just way sweeter in the, in the body cream and I really like that. Um, definitely probably gonna become a new favorite of mine. I'm really excited to go ahead and use this. I think I'm gonna grab maybe another set of this uh, during a different sale because it's really, really good. And I'm just, it's just smells, it just smells so good. It kind of smells similar to Carried Away, but like a little more clean than Carried Away because I feel like Carried Away is a very, very heavy, very, very fruity fragrance. So yeah, but I'm really happy that I grabbed this. Um, this retails for $16.95, so you can use a reward on it. Last time when they brought it out for the first time, it was $17.95, I think, so you could not use a reward, but I'm really happy that I got this. So that is a butterfly and a body cream. The next one that I got is in the stars in the body cream. This one is not heavy enough for me to only want it in a lotion, so I decided to go ahead and grab the body cream because the packaging is also really, really pretty. Um, I've had this fragrance mist for a while of in the stars, so I've had the fragrance mist for a while, um, so it is a little bit used. Um, it's probably down right here, I think, right here. <laughs> so it is a little bit used, but I don't really think that matters that much because. I do tend to go through uh, moisturizers faster than I do these, so I think I'll be okay. But here is how it looks together. Again, these are two different packagings, but I think that's completely fine. I think it's okay because uh, they both are gold, so I think it's gonna be fine. But this has notes of starflower, sandalwood musk, sugar tangelo, white agarwood, and radiant amber. And if you don't know, it's if you don't know what tangelo is, it's just a mix of tangerine and pomelo. Uh, which are both citrusy fruits so this is like a citrusy musky perfumey fragrance it's really really pretty and i've been finding that i wanted to wear all of these other fragrances in my collection that i haven't really touched before i've only worn in the stars at one time on my body and i've had it for over a year so i was like girl it's time that i finally get a moisturizer and i finally start to wear it because i do not need to keep all of these fragrances in my collection and just not touch them so i'm really happy that i got this this retails for 16.95 so again you can use it you can grab it you can grab this with a reward um once the sale's over if you haven't had a chance to grab it yet and the packaging's so pretty it's so pretty so let me go ahead and smell it really quick because i haven't tried the body cream yet Oh yeah, it's pretty. 
it's a little less citrusy than the mist i feel like the mist it has a little bit more citrus in it but it's like a clean musky slightly citrusy sugary perfumey fragrance it smells really good okay so i'm really excited to wear this so that is the in the stars body cream and the last body cream that i got for a matching fragrance mist um is this water lily springs one they have they did not bring out lotions in this and i have no idea why because i honestly would have preferred a lotion in this fragrance because this is more of a summery fragrance i feel like um but i think it's a really pretty packaging so i'm really happy that i actually got it in a body cream this has notes of dew kiss lilies crisp waters and clean musk it's just like a sweet florally aquatic fragrance and i really like it i did not i didn't grab the sea salt coast one because that one is just too masculine too salty for me and i felt like if i grabbed it i wouldn't wear it as often as i want to be wearing these fragrances and so i went ahead and grabbed this one because i really like this one um but i think it's so pretty it, it just smells sweet aquatic floral i'm gonna put it on my wrist yeah it's just so pretty i love this one this is like I don't think I have that many aquatic fragrances in my collection, so this is a really good addition to my collection because I've been wanting some more aquatic fragrances. Um, and again, this one retails for eight, eighteen ninety five. Oh my goodness! So this was a really good deal. I'm really happy that I got this one. So that is Water Lily Springs. Okay, so now we are getting into the stuff that I haven't had in my collection yet, or I have had, but I don't have matching fragrance mists too. So these are all new items from this year. So the first one is Waikiki Beach Coconut. I had a mini in this last year and I finished it up and I just decided that I didn't really want it in the full size but smelling it again I actually really like it it's just a very sweet creamy coconut and I really think that I would enjoy this for the spring and summer and here's the packaging super super cute I think this is a really cute packaging this retails for $15.95 and the notes are tropical white coconut saltwater breezes and sun bleached woods to me, it just smells like a very sweet, creamy coconut with like a tiny hint of a perfumey kind of quality. Um, it doesn't really smell like super perfumey, but it does have like a hint of woodsiness, which I really enjoy. So I'm really excited to wear this one. Um, I cannot wait to grab the fragrance mist. So I definitely, I'm going to grab some fragrance mist during the next sale. Um, so I'm really excited. So that is the Waikiki Beach Coconut. So excited to wear this. So that is the Waikiki Beach Coconut Body Lotion. The next thing that I got is the Warm Vanilla Sugar Body Cream. I just had the mist in this, but then I finished it up like a few weeks ago because um, it was my project use it up because I did not have a matching moisturizer. And I actually enjoyed the mist more than I thought I would. So I went ahead and purchased the body cream. I told myself that I'd wait until after we moved, but I was like, what's the point of waiting? I'm going to get it no matter what. Um, and I was like, you know what? This is the perfect time to grab it. I'm just going to go ahead and grab it anyways because like, when like how do I, i'm not gonna be able to go as much as i am now once we move to bath and body works so i'm just like might as well just grab it now while i can so this has notes of intoxicating vanilla white orchid sparkling sugar fresh jasmine and creamy sandalwood it just smells sweet and vanilla and floral it's a really nice basic vanilla kind of everyday fragrance um if you're really into vanillas this is a really good all-year-round fragrance as well and i was like you know what since i finished vanilla no wrapped in vanilla wrapped in vanilla off i'm gonna go ahead and buy this one again so i can go ahead and just use it since i finished wrapped in vanilla off um but i actually used to have the body lotion and warm vanilla sugar but i did give that to someone else and then i also had the full size fragrance mist and the mini fragrance mist but i did finish both of those up so now i only have this in my collection in warm vanilla sugar so i do need to grab another mist to it <laughs> so that's like a lot of talking um but this retails for 16.95 and I'm really happy that I grabbed this. So that is the Warm Vanilla Sugar Body Cream. The next one that I grabbed is something that I did not think that I would want to grab. Uh, this one's Peach Bellini in the body cream. Again, I've been getting so many body creams because I just like, I realized that I like the texture more. I used to be a lotion person. I used to love lotion because I feel like they just lasted, well, they do last longer. They last a really, really long time. Um, but I was like, you know what? I've been using up so many products lately, so I don't really think it matters if I get some body creams. Uh, so I went ahead and grabbed body creams today, like so many body creams today. Uh, but this is, I actually smelled this and I actually really like this. Like, <laughs> I definitely want to grab the mist uh, next time I go, like next time there's a sale, because I think this smells really pretty. This has notes of succulent peach, sparkling prosecco, and sweet orange. This is a very, very sweet peach orange fragrance with 
with a little bit of bubbliness there's not too much bubbliness because i do not like bubbliness i do not like fragrances that have a lot of bubbliness in them but this smells really similar to sunshine mimosa so i definitely could wear it with this one and i could just layer those together but yeah it's just a very sweet very orangey fragrance with like a it has i'm gonna do percentages right now so it has about i would say 40 percent no 50 percent orange 40 percent peach and 10 percent of the bubbliness so it definitely has like a little bit of indifference there but like an imbalance between the peach and the orange so there's definitely more orange than there is peach but it's not a big difference i would say i definitely still get that peach but i'm really happy that i got this because honestly like i really i really like this and the packaging so pretty like it's just it's such a pretty packaging so this smells really really good i'm really excited to go ahead and grab the fragrance mist the next time i go there so yeah so that is peach bellini this retails for 18.95 so that's peach bellini so the next thing that i grabbed is costa rica pink pineapple i was gonna grab the thailand sweet kiwi and starfruit i think I think that's the name but i was gonna grab that one but they do not have any moisturizers they don't have them online they don't have them in the store so i was like where are the moisturizers for this fragrance because i don't want to just grab the fragrance mist i was debating it i was like should i just grab like a mini mist of that fragrance but i was like you know what i just don't want to do it right now maybe later uh so if they do bring i'm gonna wait a little bit to see if they do bring out a moisturizer for that fragrance before deciding if i want it or not uh just because i want to only grab sets from now on um, so this is, I only grabbed these two from the Tropical tropical Collection. Um, so yeah, so this one has super pretty pink packaging. They ran out of the lotions at my store, so I just grabbed the body cream because honestly, this is super, super cute. And I was like, might as well. This has notes of a sweet pink pineapple, palm sugar, and sun-drenched nectar. I had this last year in the mist and the lotion and in the shower gel as well and i actually used it up and i really really enjoyed it so i was like girl i have to buy it again this year it was so good definitely like a summer staple it's just super sweet and just like just a very sweet pineapple fragrance and i love it and i was debating on getting it honestly because i already have coconut pineapple in my collection and i was like do i really need another pineapple fragrance but then i was like yeah i do i really do because this one is different from coconut pineapple because in coconut pineapple you actually smell the coconut so it's like a coconut and pineapple fragrance but this one's just a pure sweet pineapple fragrance so i was like i'm gonna go ahead and grab this one too so i'm really happy that i got this this retails for 17.95 i love this one and the packaging is just gorgeous you guys i love this packaging um i might grab a lotion in this as well but i'm not sure i'm really not sure uh, but I definitely want to go ahead and grab a fragrance mist in this one because this is so pretty. Um, so that is Costa Rica Pink Pineapple Sunrise. But the last thing that I grabbed is the mini fragrance mist of Daffodil Daydreams. They had these in my store and I was like, girl, everyone has been talking about this one. Um, they only had the minis. I know that they're bringing out full sizes, but I'm not sure in which stores they're bringing them out. Someone says they're only bringing them out in certain stores in certain states. And I was just like, okay, well, I don't know. So... I just grabbed the mist and I'm really happy that I did. Uh, this has notes of, I think, whipped marshmallow, pastel skies, and sweet daffodil. I could be wrong, but I think those are the notes. And this smells amazing. So the packaging is really, really cute. <laughs> like this packaging is so cute. I love this packaging. I adore this packaging. And I really hope that my, my, my store gets the full sizes because I really want this in the body cream and the full size fragrance mist as well. Oh, it smells so good, you guys. So this is like it dry down because I did already spray it. Once it dries down, it's mainly marshmallow with a hint of florals. It smells so good and super sweet. But when you first spray it, there is more florals in it. So I would say about 70% marshmallow and 30% florals. The daffodil, I mean. I'm not sure what pastel clouds is or pastel sky. I think it's pastel clouds. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that is. So that's why I'm not putting it into the percentages. But... It definitely is like mostly marshmallow with like a touch of the daffodil and i really enjoy that fragrance it smells so good you guys i'm so excited to wear this one um if they end up if they don't bring out if they don't bring it out in the full size um online or in my store i'm just gonna grab a couple of these because this is really sweet and i could pair this with pretty much any vanilla fragrance so i don't really care if i have a matching lotion to this one but this one's so cute you guys it also retails for 8.95 and i used my free reward on this because i was just like girl i need this in my collection this is so pretty and it's so cute so that is the last thing that i grabbed 
So I grabbed a total of 12 things. Three of those are for other people and then the other nine are for me. So I was so happy with my haul today. I'm really happy with my haul and I'm just so excited to put everything in my collection and start wearing everything. Today my fragrance of the day is Gingham Gorgeous. I haven't worn this yet so this is the first time that I'm wearing it on my full body and I actually kind of like it. Like I actually kind of like it which is really weird because I always said that I didn't like it that much but I like it a little bit more now that I actually wore it but I definitely don't like it more than my other ginghams. I do prefer my other ginghams compared to Gingham Gorgeous but I do like Gingham Gorgeous. So now let's go ahead and talk about the new stuff because I wanted to go ahead and just get my opinions out about the new stuff. And I was like, I don't want to make a separate video when I could just add it on to the end of this haul video. Um, so I want to talk about all of the new stuff that Bath and, Body Works, Bath and Body Works is coming out with. So first thing that I want to talk about is the new strawberry and vanilla bourbon one that they're coming out with. And they're putting it in the same packaging as the Peach Bellini, the Dark Kiss, the Year the One, the Dahlia. They're putting it in that packaging. And it's so pretty. That packaging is so pretty. And I'm really excited for that fragrance. I think I'm going to get it because I just got Cozy Vanilla Bourbon. And I really enjoy this one. So if it has like a strawberry note to it, I think I'm going to really enjoy it. So I definitely want to pick that one up. And then the Sea Salt Coast stuff. The Sea Salt Coast, I already talked about that. I did not like that. I did not want to grab it. Uh, the Peach Bellini was kind of like a on its own kind of release. And I am going to grab that in the Fragrance Mist. Even though I said that I wouldn't grab it because it's kind of basic i think i said that a few videos ago and i was like it's kind of basic i don't want to grab it but i am gonna grab it and then the tropidelic i'm not gonna get i really don't want it um it just is too plant like for me it kind of smells similar to bahamas uh passion fruit and banana flower which i don't like that one either i had that one in the body cream like two years ago and i just i really don't want it and then um fiji sunshine guavatini don't really like that one i had it last year in the mini and i just did not like it it was too citrusy for me and I was not my vibe. Uh, so I, that's that's all for like the tropical, the tropical collection. That's like all for that one. Um, but again, I do want to grab that Kiwi one. So it depends. If they bring out a moisturizer for it within the next month or so, I'll go ahead and grab it online or like in store like in the next sale. But if they don't bring out a moisturizer, I'm just going to grab the fragrance mist and call it a day. Because I feel like that fragrance mist could go with pretty much any fruity fragrance. Uh, any fruity fragrance moisturizer that's like a like a green kind of fruit like a pear or an apple like I think it could go really really well with that kind of stuff so I don't really mind not having a matching moisturizer to that one even though I'm trying to only grab matching moisturizers like I'm still obviously going to have the one-offs in my collection which I don't mind too much just because um, I do have some extra little lotions in the bottom from like Tree Hut, EOS that don't have matching fragrance mist that I can go ahead and use with those one-offs so I'm not too like concerned about that so that's why I think I might grab it if it doesn't have a matching moisturizer in the future um, and then daffodil daydreams I really really want that one in the full size but again if it doesn't have matching if it doesn't come out in full size in my store or online I'm gonna grab a few of the mini mists maybe like three or four um and then what else is new that's coming out oh Dahlia they're repackaging Dahlia which I don't really care for I don't think I'm gonna get the new packaging I think the packaging is pretty for it but I don't think I really want it um, Tutti Fruity Candy, I don't really, I don't know, I don't really want that one, um, it looks good, but I'm just like, I have a lot of sweet scents, and I just, I don't think I really need it, it's just like a sweet lemon scent, which I already have, um, I have some Watch Citrus, which is like a sweet lemon scent, and then I also have Cactus Blossom, which is like a lemon floral scent, so I don't think I need that one, um, but I might smell it, and I'll just, I'll see if I want it or not, what else is new, and then, whew. I was gonna grab a strawberry pound cake lotion today but I was like girl I don't need that because I already have the fragrance mist and I remember having the matching lotion to it like two years ago and I did not use that set ever and I was just like I'm not gonna there's no point of grabbing one like this time around because I feel like the mist is too strong and I just don't feel like I would really want a matching lotion to that one so I just didn't grab that one today and then I was I was gonna grab a matching lotion today to sweet pea but I was like this bottle's almost already halfway gone so what's the point of grabbing if it's already more than halfway gone so I think I'm just gonna keep pairing sweet pea with the rose body butter that I have from tree hut what else do I want to talk about um so yeah so I am planning to get so much more so many more things um in the upcoming next few months from their new releases for spring and I'm really excited for SAS I know that SAS is kind of kind of almost around the corner it's like in a few months and I'm really excited for it um I think I'm gonna make a video about what I want from Bath and Body Works right like at, 
at this moment just because it's good to keep my thoughts together and but i'm just really happy with what my haul today i'm just so excited for all of the new stuff coming out and, I'm, and yeah so that was pretty much everything um i hope you guys enjoyed the video comment down below your haul for today if you guys participated if you didn't what you wanted to get what you did get comment down below also comment down below your scent of the day again my scent of the day was being gorgeous and i hope you guys have a beautiful day and i will see you guys in the next one bye <laughs>